First time he met Priscilla, I happened to be at the house that evening uh, when uh, she was introduced to him. And uh, uh, when she walked in the door, I mean, a very pretty young lady, but I didn't know how old she was at the time. And uh, I figured she was about 16, but at the time she was 14, I find out later. Uh, but she was very mature, uh, very very quiet at first, because naturally walked in the room with all these guys in there. And, uh, and then Elvis, you know, I mean, uh, that's a pretty tough uh, situation to be in. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'll never forget that day. I think Priscilla and I, and we were the youngest in the group, felt the shyest at the time. And it's never anything that we sit down and, you know, talked about or anything, but I, I, I definitely felt it. Years later, we, we've kind of talked about it, you know, and it, and it was hard to do. Elvis was a very jealous person, okay, with anybody. And there's a line that you had to be very careful of, of even if, 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 if my affection for Priscilla was just on a human level, you had to be careful how you expressed that, where it didn't cause jealousy. And she was going to get rid of most of us. Very few succeed. She didn't succeed and didn't really try real hard until they got married. Once she had a ring on her finger is when she tried to separate Elvis from us, uh, with the exception that's of... that's a hard thing to come into because you got so many around. <laughs> I mean, that's not the easy Oh, I no, I understand that. And I, and I said, yeah. you know, but that was between her and Elvis, not us. Uh, That's a good point. Because the fact of the matter is, we would have loved to spend more time with our families. Yeah. But, well, he, but he insisted, as you all know, he insisted that we be there. That's right. Well, you know, so that she would start planning things with like her and Elvis and Joe and Joni. And the other person who played a role in that was Colonel Parker. That's why all those weekend trips to Palm Springs were just a four of them. Of course, Billy, myself, Billy's wife, Joe, Patsy, and a couple of other uh, people didn't want to go to Palm Springs anymore because of all that. Because like the, atmosphere, the atmosphere like was totally the changed. Like lines between some of the guys on tour. Yeah, and, 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 and the atmosphere Joe. was changed. So she knew what she was getting into after she was here for maybe six months. Well, she was in the whirlwind. There was no doubt about that. And See, he, he, he pushed her in a certain position. We, we've all agreed with this. Oh, yeah, in every position you could think of. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> no, but I mean, she <laughs> was only around when... Pick a position, Billy. Billy did. No. Uh, yeah, pick a position. But he yeah. really gave her no choice because he didn't her alone more so time much. Goodyear blend. I think he tried. <laughs> he left I, her alone I, I think he tried, and, I, I, and, and right after they got married, remember that, you know, he cut back on the group. You know, so I think he was trying to make that change. It was an he didn't like to change. It was he didn't like it at all. No, he didn't like no. to change. No. Colonel liked to change. Priscilla liked to change to some degree. Well, she Colonel liked to keep cut that it down. You know. Factor, you know. But uh, he didn't like it. I mean, he he didn't like being married. Right. She he didn't want to be married. It. He didn't want he to be married. Hated it, you know, no. First place. He didn't you know. want to get married to her. To no. her first. Place. It was not. It He'd was already not been married to her for five fault, years almost. I mean, you've been living with her. He's raised her since she was fourteen. I mean, every man's fantasy in his life. And you if know, you're any normal man, a fourteen-year-old girl, yeah, you're raised. Come on. The day he asked me to be the best man, he told me, "Yeah, I don't want to get married, but I'm he being didn't. forced to." Yeah. Because Elvis's lifespan with a woman was anywhere from two to four years. I need to interject. It wasn't because he didn't love her. No, he did love no, her. He, cared he didn't want to get sure married he because he shouldn't have been married. He no. didn't want. To marry no, I don't. Yeah. yeah, that's the key. You know, he did well, love there was her. more lust involved than was anything else right. at the time. Yeah. And that's all right. Actually, this is a scene in her uh, miniseries, uh, and it's true. I was at Graceland. I was living there right in the, within the first year, and kind of this sensitive young guy. I didn't have a lot of hang-ups, actually, and hadn't seen Priscilla in a day or so, or Elvis, and um, Priscilla came down the steps, and she didn't look good, you know? 
I just assumed she was sick, you know. And uh, I said, well, you know, where have you been? And, and she said, oh, I've just been, you know, upstairs. And I said, are you feeling okay, you know? I don't know what the response was. It was, you know, just, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking or something, you know? And I didn't know what was wrong. It was her and Elvis had been in a two-day flight. And when she went back upstairs, I could hear the lamps flying. Evidently, what happened upstairs is they continued the argument, and Priscilla said something to the effect, well, at least Jerry cares how I'm feeling. And that didn't go over very, very well. In 1972, Johnny Rivers and I became very, very close friends. And I began, I began working for him. One afternoon, I get a phone call from John. He said, Larry, Elvis needs you, man. I said, what do you mean? He said, he broke up with Priscilla. She left him. He's going through a lot. He called me up and he told me he's going through a lot of things. And I just know that he, you've got to be in his life again. Let's go to Vegas. I said, okay, let's go. So Johnny and his girlfriend and a few other people and I, we went to Vegas. We sat in one of Elvis's booths. During the show, Elvis introduced Johnny to the audience. When the show was over, the maitre d' came up and said, Elvis would like y'all to come backstage. I hadn't seen Elvis in a couple of years. We went backstage. Elvis came out of his dressing room. He walked up to me and we just hugged. Well, <clears throat> it wasn't because Priscilla left for Mike Stone. I think it was she had the affrontery to leave him. And I think that's where it all started from. It's like, you know, uh, Priscilla was married, Elvis wasn't. I think it's a good way to say it. And it, it really, you know, he didn't consider himself married, only she did. But were so. things changing for you? I mean, were you well, yeah, because the pressure was really starting to ramp up pretty bad, you know. And, uh, uh, he was losing, and he, he, Elvis didn't like to lose. I don't, I don't think it's Elvis more so than the other man, uh, especially when you find out she's going out with somebody else. It's a blow to any man's psyche. I don't think that, uh, and especially to his. I wish I'd have had a support system around me that he did when I was going to do my first, first divorce. <laughs> 